Super, Super Scooper, Scooper 1000. Well, we'll read that. <laughs> Retake. Oh! I've had it. All right, so this is the old bucket we've always used, and this is the new Super Scooper 1000. KP, so what we got going on today? Uh, we fixing to build a bucket to go on our telehammer so we can use it to scoop dolomite and load the uh, spreader boats. All right, everybody. So we got us some steel from Sable Steel in Dothan, Alabama. Keithy and Jeff are gonna build us a new bucket for our lift. We've got one on the 4230, but it's, uh, it just takes forever. When we, uh, when we do spread dolomite or even gypsum, it takes you, what, 12 scoops or so to fill up the spreader buggy? So we end up spending more time on the loader loading than we actually do spreading lime or, or gypsum. So we're gonna make this one a lot bigger. Do you have to give your firstborn for all this metal? Just about. Just about. So we gotta have four foot, four inches, right? Well, that's gonna be way up here. Cut out the bottom piece. It's gonna be the longest piece, so most of it can sit on the trailer then. Talking about cut it this way? Yeah. Teaspoon, what you working on? I'm working on uh country boy status here, y'all. Is, that, don't know is that, that lunch? Y'all y'all don't know nothing about this, y'all see the folks. This lunch right here. Getting all the um Oh, Getting the gear on, right yep. Making sure it's good. I ain't like my little rig up right there. What you got? Yeah, I rig it up. I ain't oh, got yeah. to, I ain't got to stand, stand there and hold it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I let it drain, I go do something else. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why it's going in there? I ain't got to worry about it going all on the concrete. And I got the grease the real end. Got the heater going, so it's good. Oh. We just, we measured up for uh, 12 inches, but we said anywhere between eight and 12. I think we decided 12, that way it wouldn't be that much of an angle. Right, yeah, the further you go back here, the smaller your sides are gonna be. Yeah. What we're talking about, if you go eight inches here, then your angle on the sides of the bucket is gonna drop pretty quick. Yeah. The further you come out here, the more you'll be able to hold. Right. So it'll probably come out with it. I'm about to say it done. It done all right. The harder that you do, the harder it's gonna be to weld it together. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, we could take the grinding wheel and you know make that smooth that out. What you think? It's gonna be different, but it'll work. Oh yeah. All right, well, we're filming a uh, bit for a company called Gravity Phone Case. Check them out. They're actually a pretty good company. It's got like an adhesive backing on the phone so you can stick it to any smooth surface, especially glass, sticks very well. So Teaspoon's gonna help me share it, or film it, and then I'm gonna uh, share it on my TikTok. So if you wanted to see it, make sure you follow the at Field Rose TikTok. All right, so this is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I guess if you just want to just film me. Um, the first shot is going to be just me in front of the tractor. And I'm going to say, are you getting tired of holding your phone to record yourself? And then the second shot is going to be in the tractor with the phone falling. And then it's going to be like, you should try a gravity phone case and go hands free. And then the next shots will be in the tractor. So that's kind of what we're going to do. Okay. Like I say, you just want to hold both hands, keep it nice and steady. Um, jump up one time, we see how it reacts. Perfect. Are you getting tired of having to hold your phone to record yourself? Hey, go hands free and check out the Gravity Phone Case. I love my peanuts. Oh, I love my peanuts. I love my peanuts. I like to bowl them. I love to scold them. The Gravity Case uses smart nanotechnology to stick to any flat, smooth surface. Simply take your phone, put it in the Gravity Case. After you've installed the case, simply take your phone, pan over, and stick it on the glass. 
I wonder would it stick when it hit a bump. Slow down! Slow down! We'll stick it over here. Stick! <laughs> so now your hand's free. Hey everybody, I'm an influencer. Just <laughs> buy my product. <laughs> Hey, y'all use the code Field Rose to save 20%. Field Rose saves 20%. All right, it's the next day, taking shape. Gotta add the sides and then uh, be about it, right? Talk to me, how's it going? It's going, it's going, it's going. Uh, this beat down, or it's flush. Yeah. The dirt will just come right over, it won't dig. I'm tacking. The brace is down now, which is what the fork's gonna slide in. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna start welding them. Oh, I am not, you know what just happened? What? The whole plug, oh. the whole shit, it all came out. Oh, wow. I had to hold a rag over there while Jeff come here and help me take it out. Oh, Lord. Yeah, I got grease. I got hydraulic oil everywhere. Yeah, that happened to me years ago. Yeah. Like the whole threaded piece you're saying yeah, came that, out with that it. Was, that one just came out. Yeah, that makes a good mess. I got oil everywhere. So we're waxing our hoods every year. We try to wax the hoods, make them look a little bit better. And uh, this tractor, we got it last year and uh, somebody already replaced the hood because the 8000 series, we've already replaced three. Uh, the hoods just fall apart. They're complete crap. Not waxed, wax. Overall, wax is dry. Wax on, wax off, we're right kid. See my shirt? See what it says? Rockies. Rocco's. Rocco's dad. Rocco's dad. And that's actually Rocco. That's Rocco. That's a real picture of Rocco. That's yeah. what the girls got me for Christmas. Keith, you got a little. Yeah, show, show. Yeah, let's take over real quick. Got my breeches. Got my shirt. My jacket. All that right there. Just. I'm on fire. I knew it. You're lying. I'm burned. I'm on fire. Where is that fire? Did you stop, drop, and roll? I didn't drop and roll, but I stopped. I went to trying to yank this jacket off. I pulled the muscle in my arm trying to get my jacket off. Oh, Lord. Jeff luckily saw what was going on. Well, I'm trying to get the burning jacket off. He come over and beat that out. Oh, God! Please don't let the invisible fire burn my friend! I'm getting a little close right there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Real close. We've been doing some welding, as y'all been seeing. I'm sure Jim showed y'all some video, but we finished and put the boss man to work. Let him see what his wells look like. Jeff's doing really, really good. But he's having a little trouble on this side piece right here. And uh, boss fixing to show him how to do it. I reckon we're out of, get, about out of gas. I think we are about to run out of gas. Because yeah. I noticed when I welded a little bit while ago, it started getting a few air bubbles in it. That may be the whole problem, Jeff. <laughs> Let me see here. Oh, shoot, man. Well, we got a little bit. We ain't got much. Let me see what it, what it drops to when you pull the trigger. You want some gloves? Safety first, put some gloves on. Keefe, you wanted to be talking about safety first. You almost caught yourself on fire. And off you go. Let's, make sure you Let's see how good it looks. Which one's yours? This one. Yeah, the yeah. best looking one. Yeah, look and at you that. Got a little faster though. A little, too a tall. little faster, you think? A little too yeah. tall. Getting a little, little too hot? A little too tall. No, it's too tall. Is that not the prettiest weld y'all have ever seen in your life? I don't know. Yeah, this one looks pretty good. Ooh, man, that thing's pretty. That, that you you have about at the same speed. You I need to take a good. picture of that. Yeah, you still yeah, you going need, the same speed. You, you got speed on this. It's what? like breaking land, you know, as long as it's level, but it's, you know, you say, end of the day. Say that again, it don't matter. It doesn't how. matter how it looks as long as it works. Unless, at the end of the day. Right, well, Jet, well, now, unless you work with Keefy, right? Well, yeah, because Keefy's <laughs> <Keefie's> been a <laughs> perfectionist. <laughs> I, care, yes. I care about how it looks. Well, to a certain point, I mean, you don't want him to make it look ridiculous, but there's really no sense nitpicking little bitty welds if it doesn't look perfect. As long as it's holding, it's yeah, all that matters, you know? It looks good. It looks store-bought when you get there. Except for that, you just welded. God dang. <laughs> <laughs> Two shirts. 
And a pair of pants. And a pair, yeah. It all comes with territory. Goodness gracious. Wow. Hey, he about to hit me all up. But after you see it and everything, you can figure this little project right here is saving us about three grand. Where are you going, Annie? <laughs> yeah. Hey, what'd you, hey, what'd you step on, Teaspoon? Oh, I stepped on a little red funnel. You broke the phone? Yeah, I, I said I wasn't going to step on it, but I stepped on it anyway. Did you, no, call, did you call Jim let him know? I told him. Um, yeah, I told him. You told Jim you broke the phone? He was him. He didn't fuss at you? No. Yeah. He, said, oh, he, he said, oh, man, we, don't worry about it. We'll get him there. You, uh, you know that's going to be a payroll deduction, right? <laughs> PRD? That's, that's where the new one coming from. PRD, oh, payroll oh, deduction. PRD. <laughs> It's already rough in the Gulf, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's already hey, rough listen, in the Gulf. Listen, if they don't give me a PRD for the two uh, gates I smashed up, don't worry about no funnel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, it, it, remember, I screwed up. What did I screw up? The, the, um, the new, it, brand new fence. It was the brand new fence. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tore. I tore Jim off brand new fence down with the sprayer. And, and, and I also tore up the, the gate on the margin, margin bill. Yeah, that wasn't that biggie. That was a quick fix. I don't know, that kind of big for me. Yeah, Yeah, for Jeff it was. <laughs> I, I gotta go and get some goodies. I, I ate up all of these. All right, y'all, we going home for the day. And um, we'll get back after it. Try to get y'all a little more video tomorrow when we ain't having to figure and measure so much. Kind of Jim wanted us to video us building that thing but uh you're trying to figure and measure and all that and grind and weld and pack and it's hard to video unless you just set it up and let it roll so we'll get back with y'all tomorrow and try to get y'all a little better footage and maybe we'll try to once we get it put together we can kind of explain to you why we built it the way we did because it looks a little different than your average bucket but it's going to be very very effective and i think very easy to attach and detach so all right everybody we are back working on the bucket guys should have finished it up today coming along nicely let's take a look at it jeff got a fancy new helmet yay compliments of tractor supply sponsor us <laughs> there's a whole bart whole bart the thing come off uh oh don't sponsor us oh it's that little uh, little logo there we go. Okay, do sponsor us. Yeah. Starting to look like a bucket, Jeff. Yeah. Man, where'd you learn to build stuff like that? You, <laughs> sir, you. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. I was on the phone with her. Take it, dog. That's what I'm talking about. Two pieces of metal. One of these, baby. Rolled edges. It's yeah. Look good. Yeah, I, I was on the phone with her. Yeah, it's on the phone. That's Sam later. And that's what it looks like in a welding helmet. Maybe it'd be good footage. But I thought that'd be pretty cool. Look, I got you a surprise. Do you want to see it? You got me a surprise? Follow, it, follow me. Just close your eyes. Eyes are closed. Can I peek? You can just lift, lift your hand out. And you will, you will touch it. Okay, now you can open your eyes. What the heck is that? It's a jacket since you burnt yours all up. Damn, yeah, weld jacket, bro. that would be all right. You want to weld in this thing? <laughs> well, don't weld in that, but replace the one you burn up. Why don't you do that for? Oh, we got Walmart. I saw him. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, well, you burnt your jacket all up. Well. So Jeff, if you burn your jacket up, I'll buy you a new jacket. So if you want a new one, only a couple is, holes this in it. More flammable. Yeah. This one's more flammable than the one I have <laughs> on. <laughs> right, well, just don't weld in that jacket, because I guess in hindsight, jacket. yeah, but it will keep you warm. No, so this is your weld jacket. Yeah. This thing's made out of. Uh... I hope it's 100% cotton. I don't know what this. We're gonna get polyester poisoning. Are you not scared of polyester poisoning, you idiot? I don't know. You don't say. It's dicky, so it's working. You can you can oh, wear yeah. that while you're hunting. Yeah, you don't want to weld the flannel on. Thank you, though, boss. You yeah. didn't have to do that. No problem. Just the brackets. On Just the brackets? Oh, yeah. Attach it to the forks. It looks sharp. Oh, shit.
Can't buy a good drill bit these days. Not bad. Piece of angle iron. You weld a tab on here with yeah. a piece of angle iron, thick stuff, or weld a uh, piece of half inch on here that hangs down just a little low. Well, no, we don't need to do that because then our forks will fit. Yeah. I don't know, I'll figure out something. Ratchet strap? No, not ratchet strap. Right, right, yeah, yeah, you'll have to weld it. And that way, there. that way too, you wouldn't have to guess about where to put your forks. Right. You can just pull up there and it's going to line up with it automatically here about. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang up. I broke the tack. I'm trying to straighten it up. I broke the tack. I broke the tack. I'm trying to straighten it up. So, Keithy, what we got going on? We've got it secured to the We got it secured lift. to the top up here. Yep. And uh, all we want is when you drive up to it, hook to it, these bolts are welded inside. Well, the bolts always be sticking out. Yep. And when you pull up to it, it should line up and the bolts come right through. These brackets here are going to stay on the bucket. There'll be a hole drilled here. There'll be a, so it ain't going to get in the way when we use the tail handle for other stuff. Mm -hmm. We're just going to put an angle bracket, well, an angle bracket right here. Nice. Drop a bolt in it. And uh, it'll be pulling against this, so it, it ain't going to go anywhere. Oh, yeah. Sounds and, like a plan. And that way we were able to tie it into the bracing for the bucket and those main uh, the main beams that the forks go through. Right. So that right there is attached to the main frame. It should have just made me a stir. You know, real men drink paint thinner. Yeah. I'm making a bloody mess. Oh. Hey, Chiefy. All right, well, it is completed. So what we're gonna do now is Keithy is gonna paint it. We've got some gloss black Rust-Oleum, paint it black, and uh, she should be done after that. You know what's funny? You spilt the black paint. Because years ago, mom ran into my buddy's car. He had a Honda Accord. Dad was gonna paint it. We were gonna paint it black, but I spilled all the paint, and we ended up changing the paint color to white. Bucket is done. So Keithy, what all did you use to build this incredible bucket? Well, a lot of people probably think to build something like that, you gotta have a machine shop. But basically, we had two pair of wide jaw vice grips, cutting wheel, grinding this, bar brush on a 90 degree angle grinder, cobalt, tape measure, little hammer, a square, a long square, and a speed square, set of torches, and that Miller wire welder. But so no plasma cutter. How did you get the metal to cut it so straight? All right. So What's um, the trick? When you do it redneck style, they get a piece of inch and a half angle iron. Vice grips, like I say, I'm not squaring it right now. Oh yeah. This is for demonstration purposes. Yeah, say, so you already had it. And everything's perfectly square. And then all you got to do, slide it down the middle. No, it's just all the way down. You just, you just well, isn't that nifty? It looks pretty good to me. Yeah, except for the mess I made earlier. Mm -hmm. So there it is, folks. Dang. Look at that thing. That is sharp. Super scooper. A super what? Super scooper. That's what we need. Super, to call it. yeah, old super scooper. I like oh, it. I love it. The old super scooper. That's our brand name. Super scooper. Super, super scooper. scooper. I like it. Brand new super scooper. One thousand. All right. Well, this is it. Finished. Got it painted. Looks great. This is definitely speed things up. 
And we're thinking three scoops and should fill up our spreader buggy. Three full scoops should just about do it. So appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next video. You'll see this thing in action, scooping stuff up. So Jesus loves you guys. Keep in the field rows and see you later. Bye. This makes us all realize the kind of pressure these drivers are under.